program that enable users to create and maintain a database 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 is used to store information in a well organized manner that is in tables useful to an organization here database is nothing but a collection of records or files of information grouped together is called as database and record record is a collection of related data for example a person's name telephone number and address etc the dbms is hence a general purpose software system that facilitate the processes of defining constructing and manipulating databases for various applications first thing what is data data is nothing but fact that can be recorded it can be in the form of text numbers video audio speech images etc the representation of facts concept or instruction in a formalized manner suitable for communication interpretation or processing by human or by automated means is called as data the data could be simply used to store it or to do certain operations on it operations are nothing but the processing data can be divided into two types first one is traditional one and second one is multimedia the text numbers are belongs to the traditional data type and audio video speech images are multimedia data it's all about the data now next move towards information information it is a processed data is known as information or meaningful data is known as information for example university database or college database having large amount of data if you want to search any student particular from it or csc department let's take another example of information information is nothing but it is process form or meaningful data is known as information we extract information from the data the best example here is google google is having vast or large amount of data if you want to search ppts of dbms or if you are having exam for example exam and you want to search dbms ppt and on google we have different or uh, millions of ppt so that is data for you millions of ppts that is data for you out of those ppts the dbms ppts are information for you out of that is large amount of ppts are there out of that particular subject that is our dbms it is your information if someone is having exam on data structure and for that person the information is what the ppts of data structure and all the other ppts are just like data general data so it is depend for one person it is data and for other person it is information so it is based on requirement of of that particular person what is data and what is information clear process form of data is known as information now next concept is here is database what is that a database is a collection of related data collection of related data for example university database or college database for example consider the name telephone number and address of that person it is data which is of same type that is student data or college admission data database is nothing but a collection of related data that represents some real world entities if i have a data of 10 friends and i want to store records that is phone number of those 10 friends name phone number age address like this now these are all 
collection of related data that means database where and how we are going to store this data for example on this notebook or board i can write one by one and second case here maybe i buy one notebook or diary and there i can write a phone number if i have a 1000 or 10000 friends and i want to store records of friends that is phone number name age address in this case i cannot write on notebook board that means third case here we can use computer in that we can create one notepad file or word file and write a record that is phone number name age and address here the one problem is if you want to search phone number of one person then you have to do manually if in case i have 10000 friends records in that case it is very difficult to search phone number manually by writing those to solution to this problem is writing a program so by writing a c program we can access a notepad file if you want to access a notepad file write a c program and you can access that file but here is also one problem for accessing that file you need to know the location of that file where that file has been stored in which drive which directory or sub directory what is the name of that particular file as well as some file format you need to know here we can say that we have a accessing problem for accessing the data or file you need to know the location of that particular file or file format of that file nowadays we are using client server architecture one server and users are all around the world we don't even know the location of the file we are going to access if it is not feasible to know the location because files are at remote location nowadays if you are accessing video songs or ppt on youtube do you know the location of that particular video do you need to mention location of that particular video you just enter topic name or particular name of that particular video then you will get the playlist you don't know the location of that particular video suppose i have a database which contains name phone number age address of students and i want to send this file to someone else but i don't want to show phone number i i want to hide that particular column that is phone number then how would you do this so solution is by creating one more database by deleting uh, contact number or phone number column that is simply you can create another file and show that file to your friend maybe to your another friend you want to show this file but to that particular friend you don't want to show age of your friends then you need to create one more file and then you can show this file to your friend now basically you have created three files first main file that is main database file and second file contain not having phone number and third one not having age so you are having three files storing three files having same data this means redundancy redundancy means duplication redundancy is nothing but duplicate data it is just wastage of space we are not optimizing the memory we are not optimizing the storage here that is very big problem in file system because of this multiple files you have multiple files because of this what does it mean if you have three files if suppose i want to update there you need to update address in three files manually update address in these three files suppose suppose you have updated address in two file and left with one file then that is inconsistency 
two files contains same data, but another one file contains different data that is what inconsistency. For example, friend XYZ is from Mumbai and he has shifted from Mumbai to Pune. I have updated in two files and third file still the address is Mumbai. So that would be a problem that is inconsistency of inconsistency of data. So what is DBMS? As the name says, it is a system that is going to manage the database. So how to manage database? Obviously, it is having some tools or programs which software tools or program. Using those program or software tools, it is managing the database. DBMS is responsible for defining data or definition of that database. Here DBMS is responsible for definition of that data, which type of data or database. Database plus DBMS is equal to database system. Data may or may not be useful, but information is always useful. Information is nothing but meaningful data. What I say? Data may or may not be useful, but information is always useful. DBMS should come into picture when you are dealing with the large amount of data. Now move, move towards next topic that is properties of database. A database represents some aspect of the real world. Sometimes it is called as mini world or the universe of discourse that is changes to the mini world are reflected in the database. A database is a logically coherent that is collection of data with some inherent meaning. A random as assortment of data cannot correctly be in referred to as a database. A database is designed built and populated with the data for a specific purpose. It has an intended group of user and some pre uh, convinced application in which these users are interested. As I said database is a collection of related data that represents some real world entities. If change in real world entity that should be reflected in the database. For example list of faculty or employee or suppose student. Suppose someone has left the college, then that should be updated in the database that is delete that faculty record or employee record from the database. And if new staff recruited or added some new faculty added into the institute, then they will add their profile in the database. Here real world entity or object may be staff, person or student or employee functions first one data store management management data definition services data dictionary system catalog management authorization security management backup recovery management concurrency control service and transaction management advantages of using a dbms for controlling redundancy redundancy means duplicate data same data is having or same data is storing in multiple files called as data redundancy second one restricting unauthorized access that is providing persistent storage for program object and data structure permitting inferencing and action using rules providing multiple user interface representing complex relationship among data enforcing integrity constraint, providing backup and recovery and additional amplification of the database approach. These are some advantages of DBMS. Let's see example. DBMS contains large volume of data, Excel file, multiple user accessing same time. user A, user B and user C by requesting 
something next thank you we will see next lecture